Good morning everyone. It has been, first of all, let's address the fact that I am lisping right now. Um, this is going to take a little bit of a while for me to get used to, but I have in my smile kit, which I'm about to go and film a video on, like what's in the box almost, but I haven't really spoken with it in yet so I put it in midday yesterday and um yeah I haven't really spoken with it in yet <laughs> and I'm a little bit conscious with with it in so I need to really get used to speaking with it in but I'm really impressed with how it looks yeah <laughs> um the second elephant in the room is, there are many elephants in the room, if you cannot tell. Let me close the door a sec. Adam is in bed, he's been working nights, so um, he will be up in about an hour's time, I think. I need to sit down, I need to sit down to talk to you. Um, yes, so next elephant in the room is the fact that I haven't been on here in such a long time because number one the summer term in school was ridiculously busy which is an understatement um everyone thinks that sort of like summertime you calm down a little bit no 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 we don't calm down at all um yeah so there was that and I also had shingles um, which is not fun at all especially when you've got a lot of work to do yeah shingles is not fun at all so from a physical point of view it just looked like I had right let me explain let me start from the beginning so about a week before I had any like symptoms show on my body I had sort of like pins and needly pains in both my arms and like kind of like a mild shooting pain at my back and I was like yeah okay probably pulled something and probably my circulation is really poor because I haven't been able to do any exercise or anything because I've been so busy um so I thought you know that was the case and then so a week after that then I had this like I, I don't I'm not a person who is like overly sweaty so I don't get like spots on my back or anything and I had like a cluster of tiny say like three or four what looked like little mosquito bites really close together and I was like oh my god something's like either been in the bed or something's really had a nibble on me somewhere um, and we thought oh my gosh if the dog's got fleas or something what's going on anyway then <laughs> the next day I had like a few more nearby and then um, they started to really like burn and so like, okay this could still be a bite because bites do that they they burn don't they they get like hot um, and really really itchy and it had been about three days before this cluster I'd say about three four um two or three like on my spine a couple above and a couple like here so it was on like this side of my body here and um, on my left side so like not massive either like little tiny things and they were like extremely itchy and burning and I was I remember being in school and being like what do you think what do you think this is I think this could be shingles because two people that I worked with had had shingles um, and they were like yeah we think it is so I went to the pharmacist we really said it could be but it might not be it might be bites um, rang the doctors for me they gave me an appointment that day at 5 p.m. which is really rare if you know the NHS in the UK it's really rare um, so yeah I went down and I think if you catch shingles within like I mean not catch it as in like the virus I mean if you go to the doctors within like a couple of days of realizing you've got shingles then they can like give an injection of some sort but 
I don't know if I read that on the NHS or not, website or not, I, can't, I don't know. So they gave me a cream to put on, um, which is like a steroid cream. So I came home and by this time anyway, like I'd had really bad shooting pain start. So I put the cream on and it made it like a thousand times worse because with shingles, it is the nerve endings and it is so, so painful, like, like, like ridiculously painful. Um, so I stopped using the cream and from what the NHS web website said anyway, they said to not to let them like dry out and within the next few days and I it come like round my front to sort of like underneath like where my bra line was on like on my tummy like on my oops sorry on my top ab um and the pains that I was having like unless you've had shingles I can't really explain to you but it like a big pain would come out of nowhere and it would literally feel as if I was being stabbed with a knife like it was horrendous um anyway and that lasted quite a while <laughs> um couldn't have anything like even remotely touching the areas at all because if it, it just felt so bad and sorry long story short um it lasts for about three to five weeks so i'm at i'd say about week five now um and i think that everything has gone i've still i've still got like the scabs there they're like deep <laughs> rooted scabs um they're so so tiny though like they just look like little old old like spots mosquito spots almost but um, some of them have gone anyway, but I've got hardly any pains at all. Like every now and again, I'll get like, just, just one. And that's like once a day. And like, sometimes they're like a little itch, but yeah, it's like so much better than it was. Um, also, I wanted to tell you about my Botox, which I had in my forehead, which I think lasted me about two months. Which now I can sort of do this with my forehead again um, so it definitely didn't last very long it lasted about two months I would say but I know that the more you have it um, it lasts longer and it took an awful lot in my forehead too because I'm quite sort of expressive in my job as well sorry I'm I'm so not used to these I'm salivating a lot I'm <laughs> trying to um, breathe in breathe in swallow i don't know what i'm trying to say it's been a while since i've vlogged can you tell <laughs> yes and uh, i would like to go back and have it done but at the moment i don't think i can afford like the upkeep of it at the moment but yeah i will definitely have that again then from the title of this video i don't know if you can see oh my gosh how curly that's gone right now but this is the length of my hair and yeah I have cut it off and as you can tell it needs to be blow dried and straightened otherwise it's like up by my ears <laughs> um, so I'm gonna do that with you today so that you can see my hair and I'm going to put in a couple old clips and I say clips they're like really short little I did like a video panning around the room of like my setup I put like I was it like three mirrors I think I put like three mirrors around me and I just sat there and decided that sorry this <laughs> my little neighbor is out the back <laughs> playing so I apologize if there's any noise bless her um yeah so I just did a little setup and I was going to go and have it done in the hairdressers I know don't shout at me yes I did it myself did it myself I was going to go and have it done in the hairdressers and the hairdresser who I normally have, um, when I wanted it done, she was going to be on holiday and I was like, there's, there's no way that I can wait that long. I'm going to talk myself out of it. I've been trying to talk myself into having it done for so, so long. And um, I thought I'm going to end up talking myself out of it. So I just need to do it. I'm just going to do it. So sat up the mirrors around me 
and um, just kept sort of like pulling into place, like put bobbles around my hair where I wanted to cut and just went for it. <laughs> um, and at this point, if, you, if you're new to this channel and you, you don't know me, I am a qualified hairdresser. However, that doesn't mean that you are qualified to cut your own hair because it's very difficult, obviously. But I have just grabbed my hair because I've still got it. I've, I've had this hairstyle now for about, like, I'd say about three, three, four weeks now as well, guys. So I feel like it's grown as well since I've cut it. Um, yes, so I put bobbles around it and I want to donate the hair to the Little Princess Trust, Little Prince's Trust, I can't remember what it's called. Um, <laughs> and I think I was so concerned about how much hair was here um, and making sure that I had a good length for donation that um, I wasn't concentrating on how much was left on my head <laughs> and um, it went a bit shorter than I wanted it to, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted it sort of like collarbone length so that I could do my normal wave and it would just hop up a little bit and look quite sophisticated but yeah it, it didn't go as planned but anyway this is my hair so as you can tell it doesn't even do it justice in this because um it's did i say 12 inches i think 12 inches that i have cut off so right down to my tummy and this is the shorter one which were like my two little shorter bits where i had like layers not layers feathers in my hair um so yeah, I did two bubbles at the front, two bubbles at the back. So this would be the the back then I would say. Um, and these would be the front. So before I start blow drying my hair, yeah, they bobbled up ready to go. I just need to get a little package to send them off in. Um, yeah, before I start blow drying my hair, the reason that I wanted it done is because my hair grows super, super fast. So I thought, if I do it and I don't like it, it'll be grown, it'll be grown back in no time. Um, and if I like it, I can just keep on top of it. I wanted it done because I've had long hair. I don't even know how long I've had long hair. The last time I cut it, which was a few years ago now, I didn't like it. I didn't know what I'd done or how I'd styled it, but I just didn't like it at all. Um, and I knew that I just hadn't done it the way that I wanted it so I used to have another go at it but yeah as I'd said apart from that one time all my life I have had like super long hair and I wanted a bit of a change I wanted to feel a little bit more sophisticated I suppose and classy now <laughs> and older I know that people don't generally want to look older but I did <laughs> I wanted to look older um because i felt like i kind of looked like a teenager still with my long like wavy hair but <laughs> since i've had it done everyone has told me that i look younger which i know isn't a bad thing that's a good thing but not when that wasn't what you were going for <laughs> um but yeah i suppose it's still like a compliment to um look younger but anyway let me stop going on and I'm going to pop you down so that we can blow dry my hair. this is my hair before straightening. I am a mushroom. 
and this is me using the brush as well to brush it down but if you can see breakage it's because I'm having my hair my roots done tomorrow so I apologize And here we have the new hair, <laughs> which is a big, big change, I know. And like I said, I apologize if you can see the gray because I'm having that done tomorrow morning and I can't spray root spray over the top because um, the tint doesn't stick. So here is my new cut. And here we are with some clothes on, just so that you can see what it looks like. And it's totally okay if you don't like it, guys. It's absolutely fine. Um, but I do. <laughs> and um, my hair will grow as well. I'm hoping it will grow to about here. And I can do my normal curve in it as well. So that I get a different kind of look. So... I'm going to go and set up very quietly for um, for filming now about these and then as soon as Adam wakes up then I can film properly. One thing that happened in the time that actually did I vlog when it was our wedding anniversary? Did I do that? That was on the 20th of June, I can't remember if I vlogged then but you might be able to see that. It was my birthday too. So um, the 15th of July, it was my birthday. I am 33, 33 years old. I don't feel it guys. Um, and without showing you like inside the cards, I had some lovely cards. I've got some from children that um, I just slipped there because I didn't know if they were a little bit private for the children. And I'll scoot down there because I've got some things for my mum's birthday, which is on the 25th as well. So I had some lovely, lovely cards, some lovely gifts and some money. And also I had this here from, get my hair beyond my ears, from my dad, which I asked for, which is from Astrid and Mew, which I wanted to go in this hole here. Someone's followed me down. Um, if you're wondering, if you do catch a glimpse, I am going to iron my skirt before I leave the house because um, in a different vlog, I'm going to do my mum's birthday. Oh, it's gone very bright. Come on. Let's take a step back. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a vlog all about my mum's birthday because it is her 60th. So we're going to be doing a few different things to celebrate that and um, I thought that would make a good vlog to sort of show you the different things that we're doing so we shall do that as well so we're starting off with this evening I'm lisping so much we're starting off with this evening we're going to see the Lion King so and it looks pretty good and also this is very interesting I found my birth chart and um, I'm not like really into sort of star signs and things like that, but I thought it'd be a really interesting read and so far it is. It's supposed to teach you like things about yourself and if things have like gone wrong um, in certain areas of your life like work, like career, love, relationships, things like that, um, like the things that is that are that your star sign is not relevant, what's the word? That, that would happen with your star sign normally how you would overcome that and I am quite true to ooh, look at that <laughs> true to my star sign as well I feel so I thought it'd be quite interesting to have a little look at that and um, so I'm gonna get this small kit out now and um, film that video <laughs> look at that face
better show your shorts because you look naked then <laughs> i was like pan down and it's like ah it's only your torso <laughs> um i finished filming and as you can see adam is awake <laughs> and we are now going to have something to eat before i put my teeth back in <laughs> we have got avo on toast with tomatoes and a mixture of seeds with some melon that Adam has just kindly cut. I'm going to leave you here because I feel like this vlog is long enough as it is but Adam and I are about to go to a car garage to have a little look around um, at possibly Adam's next car. I'm lisping again because I've put the, <laughs> the trays back in but um, I will see you in the next one.